Click. Warning screen. Mm. So whenever you're ready to introduce, go ahead. <laughs> I am testing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, what's going, on, guys? hey what's going on, guys? Well? I'm Ted Sia from Lightspeed Comms. And I am here and with... Uh, introduce just, yourselves. Go ahead. As our Firefly of Crimson Tempest Commentaries, better wise known as Aaron. And I am... I am and I am Elliot of the Super Gaming Brothers. <gasps> no, you lie. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, this, throw this out there that uh, Tess recorded this playthrough of Mother Three for us. So thank you, Tess. You're welcome. I'll try my best. All right. So Tess, what is, what is <laughs> happening right now? Um, I am listing your favorite, yeah, favorite thing, just showing off all the favorite things that you say don't care to. Love, I picked loves. That's apparently Lucas's favorite thing. Like, you know, um, um, I think for me, I never really played any, um, Earthbound or Mother games, so this is gonna be completely new for me. You'll, you'll, you'll get the, the, the gist pretty quickly. Just, just as a forewarning, this game will make you feel. Mostly sadness, but it will make you feel. <laughs> It I've, gives I've you feels. Feels. Welcome to the world of Mother 3. <laughs> a game that was only in Japan. Yes. yes. Well, actually, uh, interesting fact. Um, there are, as you can tell, three Mother games. Uh, there's Mother 1, Mother 2, Mother 3. And Earthbound, which was in America, is actually Mother 2. Yeah. Uh, Mother 1 was originally supposed to be Earthbound. Uh, and it was going to be for the, uh, normal, just, uh, the, the Famicom, uh, console. Uh, but by the time they had the game created, uh, the Super Nintendo was coming out and Nintendo decided, well, let's go ahead and make another game for that and call it Earthbound. Hence how that came about. Which I can understand why they did that, but at the same time, um, Capcom, uh, has, or all other game companies have done this quite a lot. Capcom did it, uh, by the time I think Mega Man 6 came out, the Super Nintendo was already out, or at least was about to be out in a week. So it was very odd that they would put out a game so quickly right as the next console would come out instead of holding it out. Yeah, but for most games, though, even though when the Super Nintendo was coming out, they would still release it on the NES when it was out. Yeah. Well, it was, it was more of a budget thing, um, honestly. Well, to be fair, that's you know, that's something I could definitely understand. I mean, it, the same thing kind of happened with the Dragon Warrior series. Uh, they they kind of kept it to Nintendo or the normal Famicom system for a long time. Yeah. In case Cartier you didn't Square. know, Mother Three was originally supposed to be on the sixty-four. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and uh, interestingly and enough, uh, Mother One and Two uh, can both be bought. Now I think on the virtual console for a Wii U. Yeah, uh, yeah like um, Earthbound's actually high in sales on the on the virtual console. Yes, I think it's we'll number see. two right now. Oh, this part's funny. I say no to changing out of Jamas. See what she says. No. <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> Did she just say scoot upstairs? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Scoot upstairs. And okay, here we have Lucas. I want to point out that that was an oh. amazing design, how you could see his own reflection in the mirror. Yeah. For yeah. that time, that was actually quite nice. Just throwing <laughs> that out there. <laughs> mm, nut bread. I actually still find it weird, like, or... I, I always see it, like, how it's a challenge to actually, like, get the reflection off of a game from a mirror. Mm-hmm. Like, like you, you put a character in front of a mirror and they actually reflect... I always found I always found like how exactly they would do that. Um, it's kind of um, it, it, it's I, I think the way it is that it's programmed to a specific code that when something gets near it, um, they actually I mean it's not that hard to do a mirror reflect. I think it's kind of like a slash colon or slash open colon mirror uh, close colon, and then they put in the specific file for the sprite. And yeah. this kid is a dumbass, but he's also incredibly Whoa. powerful. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I know he kicked <laughs> over a T Rex with one hit. Yeah, like, I, just, he, he I charged a dinosaur, up. and it, 
I tried that dinosaur and it fell. Your argument's yeah. invalid. I do that all the time. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I mean, these are Dracos, though. <laughs> Draco! And here comes Force tutorial. Can we just? Oh, I want to point out that one, the, the small dragon is like, "Hey guys, what's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> That's How's it dragon. going? The small I'm dragon. okay. Real Imagine a thing called the B button. <laughs> the small dragon actually imagine. reminds me of something from Adventure Time. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just a smiling dragon, Pro like probably, probably the ice king, maybe. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> that was and your then, like, cue, Lucas. Give it a try. PK fire. What? Wait, you're not supposed to be having that ability. Oops. I I could just imagine Alec with um an old man voice, but almost redneck. <laughs> well, howdy there, boys. I'm gonna teach you how to run into that there T-Rex. I'm actually, I, I'm more thinking you of you. Dragons like it. Move, move out of the way. A mole cricket? What? <laughs> In my mind, that man is speaking like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's awesome, summer. man. That's, we captured the uh, mole cricket. A huh. mole cricket. So let's explain the battle system for this because it's very that simple, does very cartoon. Start it's fast. very beautiful. <laughs> Then eventually you get magic or PK powers. Psy powers. You're, it, it, it's your general Daddy RPG. Can't... If you played the original Star Oceans or something closer to uh, to that effect, then or even the uh, the Dragon Uri Dragon Warrior games, you kind of already have the gist of it. It's just that you take out any form of violence and put it in with, you know, Happy Go or, ha or you know Hello Kitty, and you didn't kill the enemy. They became tame. I only played them. Yeah. Um, I only played the very little amount of RPGs. The only ones I played are um, Parasite Eve and um, Atlee or Mirror Room and to Pokemon. Fair, to be fair, those for, uh, uh, Parasite Eve was good actually. To be fair, the first one, yeah, that, that's a great game. I really think if you really want to get into RPG, or if, I mean, if you really want to pick up RPGs, <clears throat> uh, ones that you should, re you know, that aren't gonna tax your brain, but at the same time are incredibly gorgeous and fun to do, I seriously suggest trying to, or picking up a Final Fantasy Mystic Quest off the Virtual Console. Wait, I got it. That man is Alec Talk Baldwin. Talk to frogs. That's how you save. Talk to frogs. Will we meet Sergeant Frogs soon? No. <laughs> Will we meet War? Kettle, kettle. That was a funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say though, this was on the Game Boy Advance, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. The, yeah. The music in this is actually pretty good for it. Well, oh, yeah. to, to be fair, the the hardware for the Game Boy Advance's sound car or sound chip was actually very very not, uh, beautiful. It's just that nobody really took advantage of it. I think one of the few examples of games that really took advantage of it was uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and the third generation of Pokemon games because while a lot of people don't like the particular horn kind of feel to it, it really worked very well for both of those. It really did. I mean, like, um, I mean, like, um, Superstar Saga, though, for, like, for the Game Boy Advance, like... For the, for those standards, it, it was pretty good. Yeah. Well, if you want to know more about the Game Boy Advance, you should all watch my top ten Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> same, same with plug-in. Yeah, you should, play, you should. <laughs> you should also click like com You should also click like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, if you can't you tell, you Brett is lonely. You should put a link under that. I am. Please love me. I need. <laughs> I need cuddles. My I need father cuddles. seems sad to say goodbye to his I'll cuddle. Because <laughs> Black Jordan won't have anything to do with me. <laughs> and with that, mostly, we just lost 35 viewers. Mostly because I refer to him. Well, no. Okay, let me explain so I don't look like a Nazi. Um, so <laughs> there are there, there there are two Jordans. There's a white Jordan and a black Jordan, and so I identify them by calling white Jordan white Jordan and black Jordan black Jordan. I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. Uh, that actually changes depending on what favorite food you put in there. Yeah, I like I like my omelets. Hinawa. Hinawa. Pretty much ham and cheese. Melted She's cheese. obviously home. Melted yeah. shredded cheese. Melted shredded Why cheese. Why do I imagine her being Native American just because the name? Uh, I oh think it has to do with, like, the pigtail-looking things. Well, oddly enough, I, I hear Hinawa, and as much as I absolutely hate to make this reference beyond every everything that's in me... Don't I say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Please Hina say it. Hinata. Oh, mistakes. Oh, okay, not what I was thinking of. Never mind. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't going to be what you were thinking of, Brett. No, Go on. I, I was thinking of Hinata just spelled horribly wrong. She got she got bonked on the head a few many times by Neji while training, and now she can't spell her name right. Uh, Naruto reference. <laughs> Sadly, now, uh, in, almost the uh, interesting thing about this title screen. Uh, when this title screen was created, uh, with the part of it wood and part of it metal, it was actually supposed to give a sense of discomfort. Uh, you were supposed to feel like uneasy about the title. Yeah, it's kind of wow. one of those, like you know, I know right? the Earth, the planet is being kind of re yeah, yeah. taken over. It, That's always what I thought of. But that's that a legit fact. But uh, kind, yeah, kind it was. Like, it was it's, ooh, what is going on? Kind of and like, it's like ten the, minutes. Uh, oh gosh. Oh. Oh. Boom. Oh. That was bomb. Oh, oh, man. oh man, Vile is carpet bombing the forest area with Dink Chameleon and all of his men. Oh wait, no, sorry, this isn't the they Mega Man X manga. They got explosions yeah, out the, there. Oh look, it's Robert Downey. Brawny man. <laughs> I can't just think that. Oh. That's Robert Downey Jr., hush. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure he's pretty white? I like bacon, I like pork. Run hill piggy, I got a fork. <laughs> 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 oh, oh and look! Big pass right there. Look, oh, it's the I Porky. had no idea we were playing. Um, oh, never mind. <laughs> I had a reference in mind, but it left me. <laughs> kill zone, was kill it? zone. That was it. I was gonna make a kill zone reference. <laughs> Does every Mother and Earthbound game have um aliens in it? Yes. Yeah. That's actually like, what it's all about. Like that's the main focus for like um villains, I would say. Yes. Um, well, yeah, Guy well, really for this one. Alien. Not really for this one. This one is, er, has the least amount of, like, alien kind of reference to it, but uh, the other ones definitely did. I mean, er, er, I mean, Guy gets on his own. He's an alien. Yeah. But I will say this, though. The the sprite design on, on, on Mother 3 is really good. Like, I, I Look actually, at this guy. Yeah, I know. You wouldn't see it like oh that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He reminds me of an organ grinder. I only have one there. leg, so I'm skipping really fast. <laughs> I'm late! I'm late! I'm late! I'm late! I'm late! <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> Battery has three legs that are simultaneously rotating. I'm not sure. If they're oh. rotating, he would stand in one place, just spin. And there's Brian Cranston. <laughs> <laughs> it's the forest! It's the forest! The forest is on fire! The, you guys forest, have been, the been... forest! The forest on fire! Flint's just we, like, don't, we don't need we no totally water. Need some water. We totally need some water. So oh, they, the doorknob becomes later um, important. Important. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, doorknob. Well, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but most men just want to watch the world burn. Though. <laughs> we'll see at the very end of this game. I love how the dog was important. like, "Oh, something's going on." Oh, it's him. Never mind. And then just back to his dog house. <laughs> and not a fuck was given. Some I don't get though. If they give you a choice whether to do something or not, and you select no, you're still forced to say yes. Pretty much. A lot of RPGs do it. It's where the whole trope "but thou must" just comes from. It. A lot of RPGs do give you the choice, and depending on what you'll say, you know, it, it does change a few things. Um, you know, as much as. Well, actually, no, no. Mass Effect's not even an RPG. It just has that element. But, you know, it, some RPGs uh, have that effect. I think uh, some of the Dragon Quest games, at least the later ones, do affect a couple of things depending on what you say. But here it's just, you know, in these games it's more so just for jokes. <gasps> Present! Gimme, 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 No, it's a mine! I'm Actually, still waiting I'm... For, for Flint to, like, spit tobacco out of his mouth. Because <laughs> he's doing everything else. He's doing like the cowboy hat tip, and you know he's messing with his belt. I'm just waiting for him to go. I get the what? feeling. I get the feeling that Thomas here is actually supposed to be Mario, but he threw his cap in, or yeah. he, he bleached his cap too much. I love how he continues oh, to run like for that. Mario. I bleached my cap. Luigi, can I borrow yours? No, screw you. Luigi need his cap for tonight. <laughs> That's totally what that was. Luigi is going to cosplay as his favorite superhero. Oh me? Hell no. Luigi is going to play as puts on a dress. Super Wario. And we can continue with that on the next episode of this Let's Play. See you guys then.